Alright guys, welcome back. 2013, ready to get going. Excited about a new year. Let's start looking at uh, chapter 8. We're going to go 8-1 with functions. I've put the definition of functions. You can go ahead and, um, if you're keeping notes in your notebook, you can go ahead and hit pause and write this down. Um, a function is where each domain is paired with exactly one range. Okay, Each domain is paired with exactly one range. Okay, and just a reminder, your domain is your x-coordinate, and your range is your y-coordinate. So each domain or x-coordinate can only be paired with exactly one range if it's to be a function. Now, there are things that will be functions. There are things that will not be functions. For example, if I take the coordinates 4, 3, 3, 8, negative 2, 4, and 6, 2, the first thing I want to look at is my x-coordinates, my domains, the 4, the 3, the negative 2, and the 6. If these are all different, then this is always a function, because by definition, each domain, if you in C-T-I-O-N, sorry, spelling moment, if each domain is different, then it is paired with exactly one range. Now, let's look at this one. I should get negative. Now we're going to look at these and we're going to notice we have two of the same x coordinates there and we have two of the same x coordinates there. Now, are they paired with exactly the same y coordinates? Are 3 and 6 exactly the same? Well, of course not. Are 8 and 4 exactly the same? Of course they're not. So, since they are not paired with the exact same uh, range, then this is not a function. Okay. Now, there is another way to test, and I'm going to show you that way. This is called the vertical line test. So let me get a graph up here. Let's say um, I have the coordinates let's say I've got that. If I ran a vertical line or straight up and down across this coordinate plane, every time I get to a point I would stop. When I get to this point it touches my vertical line one time. When I get to this point, it touches it one time. When I get to this point, it touches it one time. And you see the pattern here. Okay, so this one is going to be a function. Let's do that again. And now let's see one that does not hit it just once. Now again, if I take my vertical straight up in line, I go across this thing, it's going to hit there once, but it's going to hit here, not once, but it's going to hit twice. And that makes this not a function, because it doesn't hit exactly once. Okay, not a function. And then the last part of the lesson, this is probably the easiest. Um, if I were going to give you an equation such as this, okay, this just states a function of x is 4x minus 7, and then I'm going to simply ask you, what is f 
of 4 and what is f of negative 2. What I've just done here is I have replaced the x with 4. So I'm going to take my equation and everywhere I see an x I'm going to replace it with a 4. Since those are side by side that's multiplication. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 7 is going to give me 9. So it's just substitution in for the x's. Over here I take the same equation 4x minus 7 and in this case I'm going to substitute in negative 2. Now do my multiplication first. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And if I have negative 8 minus 7 that gives me negative 15. Okay so in a nutshell in about a little over six minutes that is functions. So we'll work on this in class um, a little bit on Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.